reaching billionaire status, landing Time's Person of the Year, dropping two albums, releasing the highest grossing concert movie of all time, setting the all-time record for most listeners of any artist, and embarking on a 150-stop tour and counting, it's not hard to see why 2023 was the year of Taylor Swift. Really? How'd I do that? Welcome to the Eras Tour! Miss Americana embarked on the legendary and ongoing Eras Tour in March 2023. People would come up to me and they'd be like, you're gonna just like do a show with like all the albums in it? And I was like, yeah, it's, it's, it's gonna be called the Eras Tour. See you there. It's reported North American ticket sales alone broke $2.2 billion. It's just unbelievable. Her impact is seismic. Literally. There's so many moving parts to this. During her Seattle stop, Swifties caused seismic activity equivalent to a 2.3 magnitude earthquake, attributed to a booming sound system and jumping, dancing, and cheering fans. Best believe I'm still bejeweled. When I walk in the room, I can still make the whole place shimmer. It's true, just ask the bead section of any craft store. From local businesses, hospitality, clothing sales, friendship bracelets, and transportation, the Eras Tour is predicted to boost the economy by $4.6 billion. I've just never been this happy in my life, in all aspects of my life, ever. And I, I, and I just want to thank you for being a part of that. Like, you know, uh, I don't know. It's not just the tour, it's like, I don't know. I just sort of feel like my life finally feels like it makes sense. And little did we know a blossoming relationship with Travis Kelsey was about to take the stage. You made her a bracelet? Yeah. If you're Out of what? if you're up on uh, Taylor Swift concerts, there are friendship bracelets and I received a bunch of them being there, but I wanted to give Taylor Swift one with my number on it. The NFL pro shot his shot and the two became an item soon after. It's me. Hi. And when Taylor started attending Kansas City Chiefs games to support her other half, viewership spiked too. NBC reported an approximate increase of more than 2 million female viewers. It's just a lot of a lot. If we really want to talk numbers, let's discuss the highest grossing concert film ever. Hi, you're stuck with me because I'm going to like sit with you and watch this thing. Um, but I just before before we do that, I wanted to um, I wanted to say thank you for wanting to spend your evening with us like this is, this is as we would say, this is it's a core memory for me. Um, and this tour, let me just preface by saying I've always had fun doing this. I can't believe music is my career. That's crazy to me. Like, I've always loved it. I've never had a fraction of the amount of fun I had on the Eras tour before ever. Taylor announced her accompanying Eras Tour concert film in August, which, side note, caused eight studio movies to shift their release dates to avoid competing with her at the box office. I love it. It released on October 13th, grossed over $1 billion, and landed her a Golden Globe nomination for cinematic and box office achievement. My fellow performers on the stage, uh, the dancers, the band, my backing vocalists, they, they would go out on stage every single night um, in sickness or in health, in any weather conditions we would face, um, regardless of what was going on in our lives, we pranced on that stage grinning because of what met us on the other side, and that was you. It's how much you cared about it. Like, that was, that was absolutely everything. Um, so I think you'll see that you absolutely are main characters in this film because that's what made the tour magical. That's what made it different than anything I've ever done in my life is your like attention to detail, your preparation, your passion, your intensity. Like you cared so much about these shows and, and um, that made all the difference for us. It made us want to add even more shows and, and just keep doing the tour and um, and I think that I just have never felt this way about anything, the way that I feel about this experience that we have had and continue to have. So I am so proud of, 
I want to say like my management team, 13 management, are the most amazing people that I'm so lucky to, to get to work alongside such incredible, innovative, in, like just such efficient, wonderful, passionate people. And they care about you guys just as much as I do. So um, I, I am so proud of this film. Sam Wrench is our amazing director. He's absolutely incredible. We had a, an amazing team of, of, of just camera operators and editors and everyone in post-production. And I am so honored by all of their work and their dedication to this. And I think I'll just watch it with you now. So let's have a blast, guys. Thank you for coming. All the while, the mastermind was working behind the scenes to reclaim her music catalog, releasing two more re-recorded albums. Speak Now, Taylor's version, released on July 7th, and 1989, Taylor's version, dropped on October 27th, the latter becoming the best-selling album of 2023. I just have a great time with these things. I wouldn't want to do this if I didn't have 100% control over what I wear, what my message is, what my lyrics are, what songs I sing on stage, the set list, the flow of the show. I. I wouldn't want to do this if it, if it was up to somebody else to decide that because um, if we succeeded and we had an amazing tour, it would be somebody else's vision that got us there. And if it failed, I'd be really mad. I'd be like, why didn't you let me make those choices? With new vault tracks, re-releases, and a one, two, three, let's go to rehearse, Swifties boosted Taylor's all-time record for the most listeners for any artist in a year. She was the year-end top artist of 2023 on the Billboard charts and most streamed artist on Apple Music and Spotify. This is a special message from me to you Basically a thank you note. Honestly, it looks like you listen to a lot of my music this year. Doesn't matter which era you were listening to, I'm very, very grateful to be on your Spotify wrapped. It's all the fans, you know, like, I just put the song out. They're yeah. the ones who broke the record. So that's what's amazing. It's easy to see how all of this made 2023 the year of Taylor Allison Swift. He looks so pretty like